to you. Well, let me tell you a story. It's a true story. I had, you know, recently, recently this year, I've lost two of my students who've gone to the Akhirah. Who've gone to the Akhirah, two of my students. I taught them in Yusuf Islam school when I was teaching over there. And uh, one of, you know, both of them, subhanAllah, both of them, they were the type that they were challenging students. You know when you get challenging students, you know the ones that mess around a little bit? Yep. Yep. Well, they were that type. And they used to make, they would make you laugh and so on. And you would never think, you would never think that Allah Azza wa Jal would give them, at least one of them, such a great status. One of them, his name is Isa Abdul Rahman. He used to live in West London, Isa Abdul Rahman. He became a medic. I taught him. He was a challenging student, but you know, we got on, alhamdulillah. He left the school, he, he became a medic, and then he went just this year. He's just a few months back, brothers. He's a normal person, okay? Now he's just like you young guys. You know how old is he? He's about 27, 28. That's, that's how old he is, he's not older than that. He went to Syria to give, um, to, to help the victims over in Syria. Because he's a medic, you know, as, as a person, you know, people who are, who are distraught over the people who need medical aid, he went there to help them. And he got shot over there, right? He got shot, the blood's flowing from his body. Normal person, guys, I'm telling you, this guy probably doesn't even do his, you know, extra whatever, nawafil, blah, 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 whatever, he doesn't do that. He's just a normal guy, kid, he's gone over there. But you know, when you have your faith with Allah and you do things for Allah, look, look what happens. His blood is flowing. He's been shot. They put him into an ambulance. And this has been witnessed by several people over there. Several people have witnessed this. Soon as they put him into the ambulance and they lied him down, the whole ambulance was filled with the fragrant of musk. Strong smell of musk. And they said, where's that smell coming from? They said, you put the atran. said, you put the atran. They said, no, no one put no atran. He said, somebody done something. I'm like, no. His blood was smelling of musk. Shaheed. And this is a sign, Allah Akbar. And this is a sign. You, you, you read the hadith. And the hadith says that a shaheed, he, on the day of judgment, he'll come to Allah and he will have his blood smelling of musk. Now, Allah, this is witnessed by several people. They, when they were burying him, they could smell the musk. His grave, the soil was smelling of musk. Allah shows these signs. Allah shows these signs. And this is not your great, great Imam or someone. This is the individual, my student. May Allah, may Allah bless him. May Allah bless his family. Amen.